connect a router to a LAN. Addressing table, two routers, R1, R2. R1, R2, four PCs, four PCs, okay, uh, display router information, display interface information on R1. Click the device and then click CLI, command line interface. Which command displays the statistics for all interfaces configured on a router? Okay, for example, go to R1, click here. CLA tab, command line interface, enter. And the password, Okay, and the password is Cisco, the console password. Okay, so enter and this password, Cisco, the console password, enter. And privilege exec password is class. So use enable command to go from user exec mode to Privilege exit mode use enable command. Enter. And use this password. The privilege exit password is class. Class. Now you are on privilege exit mode. Which command displays the statistics for all interfaces? Show interfaces. Now you can see the, for example, gigabit 00, zero. these are the statistics of this. The traffic with statistics, space, more statistics with four gigabit 01, space, serial 00, zero. space, serial 001, zero facet internet 010, zero. and more facet internet interfaces. Space, space. Which command displays information about serial 00 interface only? Okay, repeat the command with specify serial 000. Okay, show interfaces serial 000. Enter. Okay, now you can see the statistics only for serial 000, statistics and information. This is the information, okay, the IP address, the encapsulation, but these are, these are the statistics, space. Enter the command to display the statistics for serial 000 interface on R1. Okay, this is R1. Okay, R1, I'm using R1 and answer the following questions. What is the IP address configured on R1? Okay, show running config to view all configuration. Show running config, enter, space. Uh, gigabit interfaces, uh, no IP addresses. And the, this interface serial 000 uses this IP address. Serial 001, no IP address, and fast Ethernet interfaces, no IP addresses. So this is the only one interface uh, with an IP address. And this is the IP address, uh, 209, 165, 200, 225, Subnet mask 255, 255, 255, 252. Okay, so the answer is this. What is the bandwidth of serial 000 interface? Okay, 
space space and repeat uh, show interfaces 0000, zero, zero, zero okay, to view the information enter and now you can see here the bandwidth okay 1544 kilobits per second uh, t1 line and Enter comma to display statistics on gigabit zero zero interface. Okay, what is the IP address on R1? Okay, uh, show running config. And gigabit zero zero, no IP address. Okay, there is no IP address. MAC address, space, 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 uh, show interfaces, gigabit zero zero. Show interfaces, gigabit zero zero. Enter. Uh, gigabit zero zero. This is the MAC address. Okay. Barnet in address. Zero 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 D BD six C seven D zero one. Okay. Um, this is some hardware, Barnet in address, but this is the uh, MAC address on, on, on software that can be modified. Okay, in this case, it's the same. The bandwidth of gigabit zero zero, bandwidth. One million kilobits per second. One million kilobit is one gigabit. One gigabit. So that's why it's a gigabit in a gigabit interface. Display summary list of the interfaces. Which command displays a brief summary of current interfaces, interface status, and the IP addresses assigned to them. Okay, uh, show IP interface brief. And you can see the, you can see the interface, the address, IP address, the status, okay, and protocol. Only serial 000 has an IP address and the status is up and protocol up. Okay, this disconnection. This is the interface serial 000 on R1. So that's why it's up because it's uh, active interface and uh, with green indicator. Enter the command on each router and answer the following questions. How many serial interfaces are there on R1 and R2? Okay, on R1, serial interfaces, two serial interfaces, R2. Command line interface, enter. Console password, Cisco, enter. And you are on user exec mode, go to privilege exec mode with enable command. And the privilege exec password is class. Class. Now you are on privilege exec mode. And on R2, use show IP interface brief. And you can see two serial interfaces. How many Ethernet interfaces on R1 and R2? Okay, go to R1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six Ethernet interfaces. 2 gigabit and 4 fast Ethernet. With Ethernet, 6. Okay, go to R2. Only 2. Only 2 Ethernet interfaces on R2.
Are all the Ethernet interfaces on R1 the same? If not, explain the differences. Okay, go to R1. Uh, two gigabit interfaces and four fast Ethernet interfaces. They are different. And there are two gigabit Ethernet interfaces and four fast Ethernet interfaces. Okay, gigabit Ethernet interfaces support speeds of up to 1,000 million bits per second. Okay, nine zeros. And fast Ethernet interfaces support speeds of up to 1 million bits per second, six zeros. Display the routing table. What command displays the contents of the routing table? Okay, for example, on R1, show I build. This is the routing table. Okay, only one, uh, only one network uh, directly connected network active. Only one. And this is a local network active. Is this network? Okay, uh, C for connected network and L for local. Enter R1 and answer the following questions. Uh, how many connected routes are there? Use the C code connected. Okay, only one, only one route, connected route, only one. Which route is listed? Okay. 209, 165, 200, 224, uh, prefix 30. Okay, this is a subnet. Okay, not a network host, it's a network address. How does a router handle a packet destinator for a network that is not listed in the routing table? A router will only send packets to a network listed in the routing table. If a network is not listed, the packet will be dropped. Configure router interfaces. Configure gigabit 00, zero uh, interface on R1. Okay, R1. And there are the following commands. Okay, use these commands uh, with on R1. With, look at this. This is global configuration mode. Now you are on privilege exit mode, so go to global configuration mode with configure terminal command. Enter. Now you are on global configuration mode and enter these commands. Interface uh, gigabit zero zero. Enter. IP address on I two one sixty eight ten one two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five zero. Okay. IP address and submit mask. And you can verify this on the addressing table, R1, gigabit 00, the IP address and submit mask. Enter. With enable the interface with no shutdown. Okay. No shutdown. Enter, enter. Now you can see this interface, gigabit 00, is now uh, on, with the green indicator. It is good practice to configure a description for each interface. Okay. Description LAN connection to S1. Okay. Connection to S1. Description LAN connection to S1. Enter. Okay. When you enter interface gigabit 00, you go from global configuration mode to interface configuration mode. And now you are on interface configuration mode. Use end command. End. And end command uh, will be used to go from interface configuration mode directly to privilege access mode. Okay, now R1 should now be able to ping PC1. Okay, R1 ping to PC1. Ping with 
what is the IP address of PC1? This 192.168.10. 192.168.10. Okay. PC1. 192.168.10. Okay, ping, enter. Success. Configure remaining gigabit Ethernet interfaces on R1 and on R2. Okay, use the information in addressing table to finish interface configurations for R1 and R2. Okay, uh, remember serial 000 on R1 already configured, but you need to configure this uh, gigabit 01. Go to R1, configure terminal, but you need to, to, to go to global configuration mode, and here, interface gigabit 01, okay? And use this IP address, R1 gigabit 01, 192.168.11.1. IP address 192.168.1.11, sorry, 11, that one. And subnet mask, use this, 24 or 255, 255, 255, 0. Don't forget, enable the command. And now shut down. Enter. Now it's, it's green, and you can uh, use a description. Description. LAN connected to S2. You can use any description. Okay, I'm using this, but you can use any description. Enter. Okay, and use end. Okay, and go from interface configuration mode to uh, privilege exact mode, and now configure R2. Enter password is console password Cisco. Okay, remember console password is uh, Cisco and privilege exit password is class. Enable class. Okay, to go from user exec mode to privilege exec mode. Use enable command and use password class. And configure. Uh, uh, also, uh, verify show IP inter interface brief, okay, to list the interfaces. Enter. Now you can see uh, the only one configured interface is serial 000 with IP address status up, protocol up, but you need to configure the gigabit interfaces, no IP addresses and status down, administratively down, protocol down. So go to global configuration mode, configure terminal, and go to interface configuration mode with gigabit 000, interface gigabit 00. Enter, use this IP address 101111. 101111, okay. IP address 10111. Subnet mask 24. Okay, enter. You can add the description. For example, uh, LAN connected to, and what is the gigabit? Uh, this is gigabit 00 on R2 and uh, connected to S3. Okay. You can use any description, it's only a label. And don't forget to enable the interface with no shutdown command. Enter. Now you can see the green indicator and gigabit 01. Okay. Interface gigabit 01. IP address 10121. IP address 10121. Subnet mask 24. Okay, use a description. LAN connected to. Okay, and this is gigabit zero uh, one connected to S four. S four enter and no shutdown. Enter. No shutdown to enable the interface. Now green indicator here very good. 
and verify interface configurations for example on uh, you are on interface configuration mode go to privilege exit mode with and uh, command and on privilege exit mode use show ip interface brief enter and you can see this uh, these interfaces configured gigabit interfaces with ip addresses and status app protocol app okay. back up the configuration to mvram save the configuration files on both routers to mvram what command did you use okay go to r1 on privilege exit mode copy running uh, config to a startup config enter enter very good okay the same procedure on r2 copy running config to a startup config enter enter very good verify the configuration use verification commands to check your interface configurations show ip interface brief on r1 and r2 Okay, for example, on R1, show IP interface brief. Okay, gigabit interfaces with IP addresses, status app, protocol app. How many interfaces on R1 and R2 are configured with IP addresses? And in the app and app state, okay, one, two, three. Okay, three status app protocol app one, two, three, three interfaces on R1. But go to R2, and uh, you can see uh, one, two, and three, three interfaces with app app. Okay, also you can see on the topology one, two, three on R2, one, two, three okay three on each router what part of the interface configuration is not displayed in the command output okay uh, the uh, no subnet mask okay the subnet mask is not displayed what commands can you use to verify this part of the configuration okay how to see the subnet mask Okay, for example, show running config, show running config, enter. Okay, you can see the subnet mask on the interfaces. But also you can use uh, show interfaces. Okay, show interfaces, gigabit 00, zero. this is the IP address, but this is the subnet mask on prefix. Okay, uh, gigabit 01, IP, and uh, with prefix that is the submit mask use a show ip root command but on r1 and r2 okay r1 show ip root okay very good and r2 show ip root okay show ip root on both on both routers how many connected routes uses uh, C code? Do you see uh, each router? Okay, go to R1. On R1, one, two, three. Three directly connected networks. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, three on R1, on R2, one, two, three three directly connected networks one two three okay three uh, three networks uh, r2 how many ospf routes uses the o code do you see on each router okay go to r1 one and two two ospf okay you can see o is for ospf to OSPF on R1, go to R2, 
to OSPF on R2. If the router knows all the routes in the network, then the number of connected routes and dynamically learned routes OSPF should equal the total number of LANs and WANs. How many LANs and WANs are in the topology? Okay. Uh, Uh, count the networks one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five, uh, five networks. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four lungs and only one, uh, one. Okay. Okay, in total, five networks. And you can see, for example, on R1 and code 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 networks directly connected are 1, 2, and 3 with letter C. 1, 2, and 3 directly connected with letter C. And remote networks OSPF 1 and 2. Remote networks OSPF 1 and 2. Okay, the same way on R2. Uh, total networks 1, uh, total routes or total networks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, 3 directly connected 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 directly connected to R2 and two remote with OSPF, one and two. One and two, remote networks of R2. Does this number match the number of C and O routes shown in the routing table? Yes. Test end-to-end -end connectivity. You should be able to ping from any PC to any other PC. Okay, for example, go to PC1 and go to command prompt and ping PC2. But what is the IP address of PC2 on addressing table, on addressing table 192.168.11.10? Ping space 192.168.11.10. Success, success. Ping from PC1 to PC3, IP address of PC3, 10, 1, 1, 10. Ping, 10, 1, 1, 10. Okay, success. And to PC4, 10, 1, 2, 10. Ping 10, 1 to 10. Success. Okay, completion 100%. Thank you very much.